Welcome, your war chief is back with another epic video. Hi, my name's PBG, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me Peeves. We're back. Mm-hmm. I took a week off to recoup on some mental health bits, but we are back. So I figured it would be fun. And now I'm starting to regret it already. But I figured it would be fun to make a video about my failures in PvP. We'll talk about that, how to get past it, how to learn to get better, and little tricks to keep it fun. So if you like these types of videos, or just nerdy stuff in general, well honey, you're in the right spot. Hit that subscribe button. Because listen, we do nerdy here pretty well. Alright, so if you're ready for a light-hearted video about my legendary PvP skills, you don't believe that either. That's okay. Stick around. We're jumping into it right now. Now let me explain my legendary process. I'm okay at PvP. I really am. I'm really good with strategies in Rated Battlegrounds. I understand target prioritization, target calling. I understand how to CC characters very well and keep them CC'd. I understand spinning flags, holding carts, playing murder balls. The best battleground, by the way, not up for debate. I even know how to bring the heat. Get it? I'm a fire mage. But. And yes, a big butt. The second somebody Randy Orton's comes out of nowhere, I hit panic mode. I forget everything I know about all the other classes, counter spells, spell steal, and I go into button mash mode. I, I'm admitting this. I admit it. You may judge away. And you will. That's okay. That's why I don't do arenas. And yes, that's also okay. So if you're like me, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get past it. So if you're like me, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get past it. The first one's obvious. And just like your mama told you about basketball, practice makes progress. She's right run the battlegrounds. Get used to the strats. Understand where those sneaky hordies come out of. I see you. Keep your enemy nameplates on. Look at who's kicking your butt. And no, don't just take their names down for sweet, sweet revenge. Check their class. Is it always the same class kicking your rear? Look up what stops them in their tracks. The practice will help. It'll help even better if you can get into arenas, so you're one-on-one -on -one against these classes and you really learn everything you need. But finding an arena partner can be hard, especially if you're a lone wolf like me. And finding someone in trade chat can get pretty salty pretty quick. I get it. So if you're like me in that aspect, stick to Battlegrounds. If you've got a buddy, a guildmate, Someone you kind of know won't lose their shit. Arenas is definitely the place to practice your skill. I kind of alluded it to the second thing here. Google is your friend. Look up the classes kicking your butt. Everyone's got weaknesses. Yes, even the rogues. And you can learn to exploit them. Or, at best, learn how to piss them off with CCs. Trust me. Nothing gets me or other players riled up more than getting your ass CC'd by a rogue consistently. Learning what's in the other classes' kits will really help you to understand what you can do when you're getting CC'd. Next awesome tip is to watch some players PvP. Watch other people do it. Twitch is an awesome spot to do that. Not me. No, 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 no. I mean, unless you're looking for a laugh, remember the panic mode thing? All jokes aside, I'm okay with my panic mode. 
I've learned to enjoy it. I've learned to get a good laugh out of it. So learning from me? No. But go watch other players in ranks just a bit above you. I'd steer away from watching the professionals play, because realistically, they are professionals playing against other professionals. Their level of skill is well beyond the average player. So you may learn some things, but your ability to learn to their level is limited. They are professionals. It's what they do. So try to stick a few hundred rating above you. Those are the people that you're looking to beat to move up. So they're the ones you want to watch. The last tip I've got for you is learn to laugh. Learn to have fun winning and losing. You're going to lose a lot. And there will be moments where you will want to strangle that nameless rogue. I see you. But let me tell you something that I learned from playing Overwatch. When you're losing it, when fun isn't fun anymore, it's time to stop queuing. You need a break. Log off, go queue for a dungeon, or go kill some hordies in world PvP. But take a break. And when in doubt, panic mode. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this shorter but fun video. Let me know what makes you drop into panic mode in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, give me a big old thumbs up. If you didn't, well, cool. Be honest with me. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. Bonus points if you tell me why you didn't like it. Feedback is the best way to improve. And if you like lore, you like nerdy stuff, Dungeons and Dragons, World of Warcraft, and other nerdy things that might be coming our way, hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring that bell. That way you'll get notifications for all my upcoming videos. And yes, that notification bell will go off on Wednesdays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, where we are right here playing Warcraft. It is fun. It's nerdy. It's, it's exactly what you'd expect from me. Let's be real. I am also super easy to get a hold of outside of here. All of my socials, my Twitch, everything is in the description box. Even a Discord, so you can send me some cute puppy pictures. Please do that. I like that. Alright, well thanks so much for being here. Have a legendary day, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye. Seriously, nothing fucks me up like a rogue. Maybe a hunter. But mostly rogues. Sneaky little bastards.